hello this is gloria from glow glow creations in this video we are doing um, a canopy uh, a canopy i'm not gonna call it a square canopy because the it was kind of a rectangular on uh, the stage so we are making this to fit in the stage so the stage is i believe it was eight um you know eight foot by 12 so uh, so we are making the canopy so right now my assistant and I are setting up the upright and the claw and the cross bars so the uprights are the one standing so we have four uprights and four cross bar so she's helping me um, you know push the cross bar so we are laying it down to the you know measurements that we want again the back is 12 foot front is 12 foot um, you know sides is eight. so this recording is not going to be the best because I literally just put my phone in front of my purse and recorded this so I will try my best to keep this up throughout the wedding seasons no promise um, honestly don't know where my how do you call the stand uh, so right now we are um, you know we are you know adding the drapes to the crossbar so as I say the phone is not well positioned for you to see everything that's going on but you know basically what we are doing um she is right now you know putting drapes on the side crossbar so she is putting she is starting now with the dusty rose um share drapes um so we what what we did for the sides we did two so we did one um, dusty rose share drapes and then we added two of the peach color and then she's now adding another one of the dusty rose so we will repeat the same thing on the other side the plan is to have the peach color in the middle and the dusty rose colors on the side so she's going to repeat that on this side so she is adding the dusty rose sheer drape so it's just regular sheer drape um if you are buying this i would recommend buying you know crushed instead of sheer um because it saves you time you don't need to iron or anything like that but of course i bought all of these before i realized it so i already have the drape so no going back and also some of the colors you can only find it in sheer um so she's adding the peach colors now so she's gonna add two two of the peach colors in that i have a little bit i have a cold i stayed in a um in a cold weather i stayed outside for a little bit so i caught a cold sneezing a little bit so my voice is weird so she added the two peach colors and she's gonna add the dusty rose now i feel like coughing but it won't be appropriate doing that while recording this is so unprofessional but again recording this that's fun um mainly for those in my group um so she is doing the front now so what we're gonna do what we we are doing in the front is i believe the front okay she started it different but um the front we're gonna have so we are let me see what she's doing here the front we 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 are gonna have one of the dusty rose velvet 
Um, we're gonna have two of the dusty rose velvet in the middle and one of the peach colors on each side so what she's doing here is she added the dusty rose one of the dusty rose that's going in the middle first and then she added the peach and she's going to do the other uh, she is going to do the same thing on the other end of the crossbar so here am i coming to check back on the video again i told you guys this is going to be so unprofessional uh lead on but so the way she did it in the front she's gonna she went and repeat that the same thing in the back so what i'm doing right then i am covering the pole um it, you know it was missed in the video but basically i run a zip tie through um you know the drape and i attached it to the upright so as you notice now in the video the upright have some drapes on them um, it helps you hide the upright once you're done it covers your pole and it matches with your colors and everything like that so i use the dust so i'm doing that right now for the upright that's in the back uh, that one so i run the zip tie through it and i attach it so now we are hooking the crossbars <laughs> So now we are hooking up the crossbars, adjusting the fabric to where we want them to be. Because um, the next, you know, step we're gonna add few, uh, few flowers to the fabric. So we wanted to make sure that the fabrics are where we want them to be. Because once we once we have attached the flowers, it will be hard to adjust the fabric so that's why we i think we were doing the sides one and talking honestly i don't know why i didn't edit this part of the video out but i'll keep talking so since you already noticed the back of this you know setup is already draped so the venue comes like that the back is draped so that kind of help with this setup if the back wasn't draped we would have probably done two layers of drapes um, in the back so that we can hide the wall but since the wall is already covered that help us so we were only focusing on our canopy um i don't know why i didn't edit this part out but anyhow uh so yeah so we use four adjustable uprights and base four crossbars um for the stand so right now in the back you probably can see well i promise i'll do a better job next time i am adding flowers to the drape so I am using flower panels. So I'm doing so I attach three flower panel pieces together. So and I'm using a zip tie to run to run it through the drapes. So I use a long zip tie to attach it to them where the where the drapes are you know coming together. So this um on the crossbar so the area so let's say we have two drapes that are coming together so you you find the space between those two drapes and you run your zip tie through to attach it to the you know crossbar if you feel like you need to add more zip tie you do that if you notice i'm doing this while my upright is still low so that i don't have to climb on a ladder to do this um, I think I went back to get a longer zip tie struggling a little bit with this um, honestly with this setup I didn't have enough long zip ties with me so I was kind of you know saving um, my long zip tie so it was hard it's a little bit hard so I raised this side up a little bit because 
one of the uprights on the other side is um you know seven foot and the one on this side is six foot so i have to raise this so both are on the same height so that i can make sure that the flowers is level so i'm trying right now i'm trying to so since the uprights in the front have to go high that means i need to step on something so at first i try to step on the stage to attach the flowers from the back um, see if I can stand on the stage and attach it that I believe it wasn't working so I think uh, um, I was waiting on my assistant right I think right now she is linking up those you know flower walls you know panels together remember I told you that I attach it three pieces at a time so she's you know zip tying those together so now I'm waiting for her to come back so I can get on the ladder and because uh, I need somebody to hand me the flower while I'm getting to it so um, the phone stopped recording so fast forward we added the flower panels to the front um, as you can see I have a ladder now because the upright in the front is a little bit high so I had to step on that ladder and added the flower panels to the front so now we are mixing it up with colors because we came with white flower panels so now she is adding up flowers i'm adding up flowers i'm also adding uh wisterias you know hanging wisterias um to the flowers to so like you know hanging flowers to the front right now she is adding you know future and dusty rose flowers to um, the flower panels so the flowers took quite some time I think that side we realized there wasn't enough you know zip tie used so it was hanging so um, I think I, I went back there and you know use more zip tie to secure it and then I was I tried to secure the middle too because it was hanging too low um, and then we went back to adding more color she was adding the colors I was adding the hanging with serious and we were talking definitely talking more than working well or both so I was getting the hanging with stereos and then hooking them in onto the flower panels. Um, so we're gonna do all of these flower works. Make sure all the colors are in before we raise this up. I wish I had it. So in this, you know, particular venue, we couldn't raise it. Um, these set up high, like. You know the way I normally raise it because they have ceiling drapes that were hanging low and the ceiling drapes were pre set up at the venue so they come with the venue so I couldn't do much uh, but I wish we have a venue with the uh, higher um, you know ceiling um, so that we can raise so at the end we could have raised it a little more higher but at this point, I'm adding, I looked like a hot mess, it was cold. But anyway, I'm adding flowers in my hair. Oh, Lord. So I'm adding more color flower. And again, like I told you, the front, we had to raise a little higher because one of the uprights, the lowest one of the uprights could go was seven foot um, so we had to get on the ladder that's why when you are buying your uprights I recommend buying um, one that have a height that starts at you know six foot or you know five foot that is adjustable but has a has a uh, you know starting you know height that is you know six foot or five foot that way you don't need a ladder um, you can just work um and then once you're done with then you can raise it 
so i think we are almost done putting out with you know hanging the hanging flowers and now what we, we are doing right now is adding more flowers to the side to the front sides so we're gonna connect it from top to bottom so I am folding the flower panel in half so that it's not too wide I want it to be thick I want the flowers to be thick on the side but I don't want it to be too wide so I folded it in half so this is still flower wall panels that we are using um, I bought some of them from Aliexpress and some of them with my container um, I do a container every year from China God willing um, next year well this year we got it I might do another one we'll see how the shipping prices go but I zip tie from from um, on top and then left it alone because I want to raise it up before I use any more zip tie uh, so I'm doing the same thing on that side and I will add more color flowers later into them I think we were doing a lot more talking at that point so I am zip tying that side it's not quite long so I think the plan is to add more um, flowers to the end of it um, so right now I'm raising the I'm raising it I'm raising the upright so she's gonna add more flowers to that side um, she's using a zip tie to add more flowers to the side we're gonna add more color flower to this so the flowers that we put on the side we didn't add the color flowers before raising because since we didn't you know particularly you know zip ties them to the entire pole we were worried that if we added more flowers before raising them the flowers were gonna fall off so we so the plan is to get on a ladder afterward uh, so at first I was toying with the idea so at first I was toying with the idea of wrapping it around but I say no let me stick to the plan let me stick to what the client wants so so right now I am I am holding my drapes getting some swag action so I use the velvet in front because velvet is fancier more luxurious it looks nicer it's easier to drape so I use my velvet in front and back and I kept the shares on the sides all your choice so I am gonna hold the side too holding the peach color at first and I told you earlier that I ran out of zip tie right somebody should guess what I'm using to tie this thread your mind will be blown I'm not gonna tell it in this video you might see it but I'm not gonna say it. Um, maybe you zoom close and see uh, uh, I think you can see it now clear but anyhow stuff happen in this business so you gotta come up with um whatever because the venue closes at five we were allowed to set up the day before so we came we were supposed to start one stage wasn't set up until 2 30 so it took us about two hours for the setup so i'm gonna tie the sides Two. I'm doing the sides straight too 
in here i think the video stops i think the video stopped before i noticed but here's the final product we added uh we added the two tron chairs added some up lights beautiful let me know what you think let me know what you want to see more of for next i'll try my best to make more of these um as the wedding season starts thank you for watching bye bye